Howdy guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to connect the Sony a6000 to your computer in case you want to use it for streaming, zoom, you know, anything like that. It is going to require a copy of different items, so I'll have those linked down in the description. But anyways, let's just get right into it. So for this we're going to need a copy of different things. First, obviously you need your camera, of course. Second, you need some sort of capture device. Uh, this is the Elgato Cam Link for K. It's kind of like the industry standard, so to speak, but you can find stuff cheaper if you'd like. And then finally, you're going to need an HDMI to mini HDMI adapter. And then you are going to need a source of power for the camera, um, unless you want to just run it on battery and let it die. Um, so you're going to need something called a dummy battery. And what that is, is you plug it into an outlet and then you slide the battery into the camera like you would a standard battery and it pretty much provides unlimited power. Now before we start plugging things into the computer, we do need to change a single setting on the A6000. So you're going to go to the back here, hit the menu button, go to the suitcase icon, tab 6, page 3, and then you're going to go down to HDMI info display and turn that off. So what that does is when that setting is on, then you have your camera like feeding to the computer. It is show out of your settings like aperture, you know, ISO, shutter speed. And obviously you do not want that like on your live stream. So turning off that setting pretty much removes that and it provides like just clean video. And yeah, now it's time to get everything connected. So first you're going to take your cam link, plug in your HDMI cable to it just like that. Next, you're going to connect the mini HDMI cable to your camera here. <laughs> if I can fit it in. And then finally after that, you're just going to plug in the end of your cam link to your computer. Give it like 15 seconds and then your camera should come up under like your list of potential webcams, whether you're using Zoom or OBS or any sort of software that you're using. So yeah, that's it. That's how easy it is to connect your A6000 to a computer. Um, like I said, I do have affiliate links in the description for everything that you need. I do get a tiny commission off them, so thanks in advance. And yeah, that sums up this video. If this helped you guys, feel free to drop a like and even consider subscribing. Thank you so much and have a great day.